Kim Schitt's back. First nice day we've had in a long time. And the Kim Schitt's right back. I knew that's why they quit spraying. It was cold. We were having all this cold weather. We were actually having a little bit of natural winter weather. <laughs> And so I think they suspended operations because the cold weather fucks your shit up. And that's what global warming is all about, people. And you better fucking wake up. It's so that their aerosol operations and mind control operations and chemtrail operations and harp operations can work. They do not work well in cold weather. So they've got to warm up the atmosphere and our environment. That's exactly what global warming is all the fuck about. And you better wake up. Because they're raining death on us in one way or another. Whether it's mind control, which is another form of mental death, actually poisoning us this shit to kill us off and it is definitely demonic Last night I was getting hit with all kinds of fucking weird dreams, man. This morning I woke up with all kinds of weird fucking dreams. They're sick motherfuckers. That's all they are, man. There they go, spraying their poison. Here on Long Island, I've been spraying. I just start. I, I noticed that they started up about a couple hours ago. Just well, actually about an hour ago. You just see them laying stuff off, weighed, weighing it back in the distance. That's what they like to do. They, they do it on the horizons. They don't do it straight over very rarely, unless they're really desperate to get really, really fucking nail us. I don't know, it's, it's like they have a, a system. They start spraying. You can see there's, they're working in, te in teams there. Got one going that way, we got another one starting up this way, we got a couple of them, two or three of them, just, just nailing that whole section. Oh my god. I, because it was just so nice to, to not have chemtrails for the past couple weeks, because it's been cold. We've actually had cold winter weather. We just had another storm. But it's going to be back up in the 50s this week, I hear. St. Patty's Day is next week, weekend, and we're, we're back to our, our, our chem death, our chem dumps. I thought maybe we might be actually making a difference in stopping these fuckers, but the only thing that's going to stop these motherfuckers is the bullet. I really do believe that's what it's going to take. I think the people are getting ready. I know I am. We got people prophesying about the end of the frickin' world and shit. I was up listening to these Christians. I mean, I, I don't listen to prophecy, prophecy crap. I, I, you know, it, it could be true. It could be true. I mean, we could be uh, entering into the end of the United States as we know it. Because uh, what they're trying to do, and they're using Bible prophecy as their script. If you want to know what all this New World Order shit's about, just read your Bible. That's their game plan. They're bringing about this shit that is prophesied in the Bible. I'm not, I'm not calling the Bible shit, but, I'm, but this evil stuff that was prophesied and foretold in the Bible 
the revelations and the white horse i mean you look at the denver broncos look at their 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 satanic asshole obama gets elected at the 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 white the white horse the denver broncos stadium mile high stadium when the when the the, the apocalypse one of the seals of the apocalypse is the the white the rider on the white horse all this shit they're trying to fulfill Bible prophecy to make it come true I mean I mean that's like probably the devil's sickest joke he could probably possibly do on on the people is to actually use God's word to attack the world so I don't know you know and they're, I was listening to this, guy, this Bible prophecy stuff, and I can only listen to so much of it. Talking about uh, how they're going to, uh, he was. They were for, all these people were foretelling fires all over the United States, and our great cities would be destroyed. And you know, I don't know. We got some evil motherfuckers in this world. Maybe that's their goal. They feel they got to destroy the. To destroy the United States to bring in their new world order. We don't know. Well, yeah, even even they do admit God is on the throne and God is in control no matter what happens. So I'll keep my faith in God. And I, as, as a Christian, Bible believing Christian, I believe that we can always help determine the fate of our world and this planet and I think that's why God put us here that's why when I hear people say oh it's in God's hands well why do you think God gave you two hands he expects you to change it so I will I will continue working to stop and expose this satanic shit to the day I die and to try to destroy this new world order once and for all because they keep trying every time they try and every time they fail every time they got s some new satanic tool now they got mass mind control and they'll just keep keep coming and coming until maybe they do destroy the world who knows